Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Regular viewers will know I review many photographic, audio and video related products. Today isn't actually a review. Today is something I found really interesting, and I'm really enjoying it. I recently purchased an old um, Panasonic GH4. I was gonna show you, but it isn't here. It's filming me, it's there. Um, I recently did purchase this old GH4, and it's a great, great camera. I used to own one, then I sold it, and I bought another one. And it's a great camera, but where it lacks is autofocus. I've never been able to get really good autofocus with it. Um, and that's, you know, that's a trait with um, a lot of Panasonic cameras. In fact, I think pretty much all of the Panasonic cameras, because it works from a contrast detect autofocus, they call it depth from defocus, depth through defocus, something rather. Um, it still hunt, hunts. And when you're doing a presentation like this, um, although in the background, there's nothing in the background there, so it may well work. But anyway, cut a long story short, I found using the Panasonic app, which I have here, uh, and I'm running it on my I iPad Pro. You can run it on a mobile phone, um, iOS, as well as Android. And it's really nifty because what you can do, you can set the camera to manual focus, which is what I've got. And you won't be able to tell by looking at the app that it's on manual focus. Um, but you can set it to manual focus. And I can see here that I'm clearly, uh, clearly sharp. I can actually make that picture bigger as well. Um, I can't remember how I do that. Is it the display button? No, that gets rid of that. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play around with this too much because it might stop the camera from recording. Um, but uh, one beautiful thing with it in manual focus, you can almost do it like auto focus. So I've got the square box around um, my face. So I told it to focus in that area but it won't hunt, it will stay focused on that one point. So if I move that box to, let's see if I can demonstrate this, come on. It's good when you demonstrate something and it doesn't work, isn't it? Come on. Oh, maybe it doesn't work while it's recording. Maybe the camera has to be not recording to get that function to work, I don't know. I'm gonna carry on playing with that. I know you can adjust all the apertures and what have you, because if you go into f-stop and shutter speed, I've got that set to 1 50th, as you can see, um, but I can take the aperture right down, that'll uh, overexpose. You can see that, that's doing that in real, pretty much real time, and you can take the aperture right down, and you end up with a really dark picture, as you can see. So let's go back to, I've got my zebras on, so I've got a, a reasonable idea what the correct exposure should be. So let's go with that. Um, and the other nice thing is, while you're running the app, it doesn't um, cut off the monitor on the back of the camera. So you've got both. I can see on the monitor it's still working fine, and I can see on the app it's all working fine. Um, there's, there's, I mean, you can adjust the ISO. This is a great little app, but for me, because I'm a solo worker, I don't have anybody behind the camera. So I always need a damn good camera that produces really good autofocus or a camera that I can set it manually. I'm using the app I can. And this is the very first time I've done this. So if it doesn't work, then, you know, hey ho. But there we go, look, you see I'm adjusting the ISO, that's whacking it right up. But take it right back down to 200. Um, so you can adjust your shutter speed, ISO, um, uh, aperture setting, you know. Um, the only thing it doesn't look like, I can't move my focus point now. I bet you that'll work though, when it's not recording. Um, but yeah, so that's the Panasonic image app. Pan Panasonic image app works via Wi-Fi. Bit of a fiddly thing to set up, uh, but once it's set up, it goes straight in. I got into that straight away, no problem at all. So I'm loving that aspect of this um, particular camera. So yeah, that's the um, manual focus working like autofocus, sort of, well, not really, but um, it, at least I can see now, I'm looking at, I'm constantly looking at this app and um, you can see over my shoulder there. Um, and I can see that camera on the shelf is nicely out of focus and it's not pulsing. There's no, no pulsing going on. And that is a problem with Micro Four Thirds, particularly Panasonic. Don't think it happens with Olympus, 
But with Panasonic, the camera, the, the focus wheel hung, boom, 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 keeps on pulsing. Um, and you don't want that. You, you don't want the viewer to look at a pulsing image. Um, but there we go. That's the uh, Panasonic GH4. This app also works with the GH5. Um, and it will work with my G9, but it does work with my G9, which is filming over my shoulder here. Um, there we go. Loving it. So that's it. So little short, not tutorial on this app, um, but just a little short thing, how you can use manual focus to mimic autofocus. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this little tutorial useful, um, particularly if you use Panasonic cameras. I'm sure you will. Um, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned for more videos relating to photography and video. And I uh, hope you found this one useful. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. I really appreciate that. And if you found this video useful, um, I'm particularly targeting Panasonic users. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button. Thanks very much. Speak to you soon. Bye.